Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today we're going to have some fun. I get asked a lot about uh, doing different kind of art and a less expensive way with not as much uh, supplies. And a big one I get is from more crayons because I like to do a lot of crayon art. So this is what we're doing today. Uh, I'm laying down a little bit of Mod Podge. Now you can use a uh, Elmer's glue stick or a white school glue. It doesn't matter, but that does help this way. I'm going to show you two different ways to do this, uh, where you kind of make some shards off of your crayons, if you will, and it helps stick so they don't fly everywhere. That's just a little tip, uh, but you know, it, you don't have to do it. It's just the way I like to do it. And I'm just blowing these to get some uh texture you know just to kind of thin them out a bit these are just your normal crayola crayons you can use dollar store you can use whatever you have uh, i chose this color because i had a palette that i wanted to use you know a color palette but of course use whatever colors that you want my mind's going nuts for halloween and all kinds of stuff so uh, i'm showing you you know a couple different ways and i'm using my paintbrush now, use an old one because the wax will dry. I will show you what I do to get a lot of the wax off uh, so I can still use the paintbrush, but I like to kind of like spread it around a little bit and almost paint with it, really. And this is just one of your darker purples. This is so much fun to do. What fun, right? Look, <laughs> like I said, this is a way you can use your scissors, you can use your craft knife, whatever you uh, have to get these pieces. And you can continue on this way, as you will see, I'll do, a, I think, another color uh, to get a really cool effect as well. But the next way, obviously, is going to be uh, my favorite way. So, yeah, so I'm just putting a little bit more of the glue down and around where I want that pink or the magenta, I guess, to lay. And I keep turning the canvas. It's just a smaller canvas, uh, as you can see, just to get different. I, I like doing that anyway, but, you know, just to get different uh, ways, I guess, of it to go. And I want everything to kind of go into the middle. And I'm just doing more of the magenta. And the pieces that flew off, I just go back with my pencil, uh, my pencil, my paintbrush, and get it on there. Oh, I, I got so many ideas about what to do now. But like I said, this, you know, and here's the great thing. And I know you guys, some of you guys get frustrated because I talk about Mod Podge, but you will see what I do at the end. Uh, because a lot of people don't like doing the crayons because they dry matte. And I'm going to show you a cool way to get them. Uh, glossy. We're making a galaxy kind of thing, as you'll see. But see how they, how cool it is? And you can just sit. Now I'm going to set that crayon and heat it. And it's going to go almost puddles. You know, it melts really cool. Do this with the kids. Use a hair dryer. And I'm just laying it. Look at me go. So imagine the colors, and they mix beautifully, but they don't muddy, uh, and you can thin them out. You can make them thicker in piles, as you'll see. So, oh, I just had a blast doing this. I needed something that wasn't too uh, too much to think about and too much to clean up because I just didn't feel like cleaning a lot today off my desk. And I love the galaxy look. I love glitter. I can never get enough. I walk around with more glitter on me than I uh, care to admit. And I'm turning it again. And look, even on my paper that I have sitting here as my background, it's splattering. And I don't care because I can paint and use this as a mixed media background because my paint is multi-surface and goes over anything. So that's just a layer I'm starting. Plus, I really wanted to see you guys, uh, you guys see, you know, what I'm doing. Now, you see on the bottom there, look how it layered. So it's almost like watercolor in the sense of it's, it becomes transparent uh, if you, you know, make the, make it blow it, I guess, is the way you want to say it. Uh, that's what she said. If we just blow it out and thin it out. 
And I love this color combination. I'm just thinning out some of it with my paintbrush, kind of pulling it out a little bit, making it a little bit more, uh, you'll see in the one corner. I want the two corners, what I did was I made the two corners darker and you're gonna see the one I'm working on and the one opposite. I wanted them to be a little thicker and darker. And so I'm just making it a little bit more opaque by coloring it with my paintbrush. But now I go in with orange and it just makes everything, it just makes me so happy. I almost went in with some yellow at the end and then I thought, just stop girl, because I can really overdo things. And I'm glad I did because I really like, now I'm going to leave a little bit of white and looking at it now, I'm like, oh, I wish I would have left all that white, uh, but I'm going in with the orange and which will make it lighter as well. But you know, and I'm just, I, I like some of the white because, and it could just be the littlest bit of white. It just makes things a little more, I, I don't know. It, it, I just love it. I just love it. Oh, somebody's car alarm's going off right here. It's off now. Thank goodness. But you see how that orange just added so much to that? And like I said, yellow, I might have added a little bit on top of the orange. And I might just do, I have an idea for another one I'm going to do. Um, and you see, I'm just melting it and just almost drawing with it. And then just having the heat gun, like I said, or your hair dryer, you know, to just blow it around. So if your kids, you know, you're doing this with your kids, which I think this is really cool to put them down with paper and just let them have at it. But, uh, you know, the hair dryer. And just melt it and swirl it around. You could pick it up and let it drip, which you'll see. Now, what I want to do, I mean, look at that, how gorgeous. Now I'm going to let it dry for a second. And I'm just cleaning off my brush. And I'm just heating it and I'm just squishing it around. Getting that color off. Because if you put this in your water now, it's going to make it cold and it's going to just congeal up hard. So I'm just scrubbing it and getting off what I can. Putting the things away. Because you know, I'm such a tidy little girl. Now let me show you these, how cool this is. Those are just my Crayola crayons that I use for every time I use Crayola. You guys know I have quite a few videos because I, I like everybody. Look at these, those are glitter. That's glitter. Okay, so now I got the glitter one. I edited myself, can you tell? <laughs> I got the glitter ones and I just, I laid a bunch of it down and I'm just blowing it up. And it gives the such coolest effect with the orange and the lighter pink. Oh, I just love it. Now I'm going in with a pokey thing, anything pointy. It could be a pen or whatever. And I'm just gonna draw a star in and you're gonna see underneath. Now, obviously the wax was not dry when I started, so it kept melting in, which was fine with me because it added design. But when I pull this wax up, this color, you get this really cool look underneath of where I set the crayon, some texture, and it really came out good. So as the crayon starts drying, you just give it a second, it doesn't take long, um, then I can go in and really scrape, which is what I did. And then I used the other end, but again, this could be a toothpick. It could be whatever you have pointy. And I'm just cleaning it up, getting some of the thick uh, crayon up. And firming up my star shape, which you don't have to do, but I did. And you see, I'm just using my finger to kind of scrape up and you see that underneath texture and like where I had set the crayon and oh, I love it. It came out, it almost looks like a stamp and I love it. Giving it all dust. Look at me dust. Look at that, how cool. Look at that. Now this is cool just like this. You don't have to do another blessed thing to it. 
it'll dry, you know, it'll cool all the way, but I have to go like extra, extra, and I'm using the Mod Podge Mega Glitter. Put my crayon away because I'm so clean. Again, you can get those at Michael's or wherever, use a coupon and, you know, or your dollar store. Now, I don't know if I'm the only one I'm showing you. When it's dry, I love those little things. You know, I've made uh, embellishments before with the uh, glitter glue, the glitter Mod Podge, and I'm just going on. And I'm, you can see I'm using my brush. So the brush is fine. It's workable. No different than me not cleaning my brush when I do my uh, mixed media. So, which this is mixed media as well. Glitter, glue, crayons. Come on now. And I'm just laying it down. Not worrying too much because the glue is just going to add a texture to it as well. Not worrying about it. Putting it in my water. And then I'm going to take my sponge brush and just thin it out just a little bit to spread that glitter. Now you could put as many coats as you want. Uh, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this, but in the corners, it's a little thicker and that just sticks and it is everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys will do this. It is so much fun. So inexpensive. Do it on paper, do it on cardboard, do it on whatever you want to do it on and have a blast. Uh, if you do this, of course, tag me. I love to see it. All my information is down below where you can find me. And um, I'm going to try to show this to you up close. Look at that. See those corners? <gasps> and it's going to dry with that nice sheen. So as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. I love you guys so very much. And I hope you guys enjoyed this very inexpensive, very fun craft and piece of art now that you can hang on your wall. I will see you in my next video. I love you guys so much. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, I just love it. And the star, it just adds something. Okay, I'm going to let you go. Bye-bye.